there is a game you can't stream on YouTube. You can set up your stream and press go live, but YouTube won't let you. You can watch the stream as a video. You could even share a link and others could watch it from that. But YouTube won't promote you if you stream this game, despite the fact that this game is one of the best selling video games of all time. The game I'm talking about is Minecraft. As odd as it sounds, you will not be treated as equally as other creators when you stream Minecraft on YouTube. If this video is hitting the right people, you're hopefully a Minecraft YouTube live streamer. If you're not, I'll try to do a good job explaining the problem to you. If you're a good streamer, you seek out the competition and see what others are doing better than you, or worse than you despite them getting more viewers than you. First, let's compare YouTube gaming to its competitor, Twitch. Here's a screenshot of Twitch's Minecraft page set to recommended at 9.45 p.m. on a Monday night. This looks completely normal. However, YouTube's page has some serious issues. Here's a screenshot of YouTube's Minecraft page set to my region at 9.45 p.m. on a Monday night. This is their competition, this is ours. What happened? Since the beginning of the 2010s, shifts in entertainment have been happening left and right. This meant a heavier reliance on the internet to entertain individuals as opposed to television and radio. What this unfortunately meant was that children's content was necessary, as parents relied on the internet to entertain their children. YouTube was the primary target for this surplus of children's content. Creators began to notice the odd nature of this content. Many videos around the mid-2010s were devoted to exposing these videos, evicting these creators from the adult side of the platform entirely. YouTube's small efforts to remove these creators weren't enough, and before it was too late, YouTube was in serious trouble. In November of 2019, YouTube announced that they were making big changes to how kids' content is handled on YouTube. The reason? In Variety's words, to settle allegations that YouTube violated the U.S. Children's Online Privacy Protection Act. The law bars internet companies from collecting data from kids under 13, something to which YouTube turned a blind eye for years. What YouTube did was add a required setting when you upload a video. You must explicitly decide whether the video is made for kids or not made for kids. While complying with the FTC's requests, the Made for Kids system also acts as a categorical value for videos. When you're an adult account on YouTube, you're less likely to come across kids' videos, as they're not made for you. Of course, this doesn't apply to these live streams at all. Children's entertainment is not what live streams were ever for. You press go live on a platform called YouTube Gaming. Your expectation is that you're competing with other gamers, not children's content. It's unfair that these creators are allowed to call what they do gaming in the Minecraft category. These streamers are abusing the made for kids system on their live streams. YouTube still allows live chat, playlist saves, and mini player on their content. Features that, according to YouTube's own compliances with the FTC, aren't allowed on content that is made for kids. YouTube even addressed this issue in 2019 saying, although games like Minecraft might appeal to children, what's important is whether the content you've created itself is directed towards kids. Why would YouTube place live streams directed towards kids alongside live streams specifically marked as not made for kids? Because these creators don't mark their live streams as made for kids. According to Google support, if your channel or live streams audience is set as made for kids, some features will be turned off or restricted. This includes live chat, comments, reminder notes, notifications, and personalized ads. These channels have all of these features enabled on content that should be marked as made for kids, which according to YouTube's definition is content that children are not the primary audience, but the video is still directed at children because it features actors, characters, activities, games, songs, stories, or other subject matter that reflect an intent to target children. All things that apply to these live streams. YouTube contradicts itself in this field. YouTube stated in 2019 that if we find you're abusing our systems and intentionally marking your videos incorrectly, this may result in consequences for your channel or videos. Exactly what these streamers are doing, yet YouTube is doing nothing to their channels or videos except promote them more. YouTube even elaborated on this later in the year when they said, we'll only change your settings if we detect error or abuse. This is evidence that these creators are abusing the made for kids system and YouTube is doing nothing about it. And remember, that means that YouTube is collecting data Data on minors, which is something they got in big trouble for not that long ago. YouTube needs to change the way it filters, places, and handles children's live streams on the platform for the safety of the children watching, the passion of the participants creating real content, and the legal stability of its own platform. I think I speak for a majority of Minecraft YouTubers when I say that this is not what we are. We are so much more than these creators. These creators are abusing a system designed to protect children 
as a weapon to hurt creators. As one big Minecraft community, we need to stand up and retaliate against this illegal mistreatment of the content that surrounds us. Sign and share the petition I've linked at the top of the description and comments, or go to change.org slash no more monster school to help this cause. YouTube gaming will always be in the shadow of Twitch, but if YouTube can change how they handle this content, maybe some mobs won't spawn. That's what I would end the video with if the story ended there. It unfortunately doesn't. By allowing live chat on these live streams, YouTube is putting the moderation in the hands of the creator, along with whoever the creator decides can control the chat, a moderator. While researching for this video, I stayed away from the content I was talking about, because I thought I knew all of it. I saw the grotesque thumbnails and titles, I even watched one for a few minutes a couple weeks ago. I thought I knew everything, until I entered the chat. Upon entering a smaller children's live stream, around 200 viewers, to test if there really was a full live chat on a stream that should be marked as made for kids, I noticed something. A red arrow profile picture pointing to a link and a caption that read hot girls and boys video chat. This took me by complete shock. I never even thought of this. Until then, I was just using the live chat as a hypothetical reason. Like, someone could use this maliciously, but nobody cares enough to do so. So I checked some more. Jerk off adv. Wet girls are here. And the biggest of them all, an automated moderator named Nightbot that deleted a message from one of these accounts. Online strips without clothing. But the creator of the stream didn't delete this message. Nightbot only caught it because the user was spamming. And by calling out the user, Nightbot was doing just as much advertising for the website as the user spamming it. As much as I wanted to end this video optimistically as a request to YouTube to take care for its creators, this is much more than that. I am concerned for what this means for the platform and the young children that use it. If YouTube has been and continues being okay with their prominently featured Minecraft creators abusing the made for kids system and allowing promotion of pornography to children, there is a much bigger issue than creator discovery and platform advantages. There are child safety laws being broken and YouTube could be in big trouble again. That's all I have to say on this topic. Please sign the petition to force these creators to, to enable their stuff as made for kids or just get them off the platform entirely because YouTube clearly doesn't care and the FTC could get involved at this point and cause another adpocalypse or many, many other things that creators definitely don't want. So if you step up and sign the petition, that means so much more than anything at this point. I don't know how I'm the only one noticing this, but I really hope it changes. Thanks for watching and please subscribe. I even got my English teacher to help me with some of the grammatical issues and, and, and argument errors in the original script. Uh, that, that takes a lot of balls, please, please subscribe. Oh, and I would like to thank literally every subreddit related to YouTube streaming and gaming for completely ignoring the change.org petition. Uh, that was desperate of you guys. I mean, moderators, guys, when you notice something like this, can you can you not just say, ah, oh, this is a dream fan subreddit, you know, we, we, we don't care about issues related to YouTube gaming, and, you know, the, the future of gaming and where Dream's channel is, like, guys, come on, come on, this is a much bigger issue. So, so thank you, Reddit, for completely ignoring this issue.